In this video, I'll show you how to center the text in the grid bubbles on drawings using Advanced Steel 2018. I'm going to create a drawing of the structure. So right out of the box, I'm just going to expand and I'm going to go to the category GA plan elevation sections. And let's try maybe a plan view key plan. There's many others that we can use, but let's try the plan view key plan. So I'm going to select uh, modify settings. This here is just gives you a default. You don't have an option. So I'll select modify settings instead and choose my template from here. There we go, it's already selected. I'm going to select OK. Advanced Steel is telling me what do you want to detail. So first corner of detail, second corner of detail. There we go. We're going to look at our grid bubbles. So we've detailed uh, drawing number one. So let's go to our Output tab, Document Manager, and expand our details. There we have it. I can open that detail here. Uh, let's see. Open Drawing. So there we have it. Let me just collapse this and move this out of the way. You can change the scale if you want by, I believe, double clicking on the outer and changing that to uh, maybe, let's put it a little smaller so it fits within the prototype or uh, title block. So you can see that the, the text is all centered. It's a little angular, so I'm just going to type RE and hit the space bar. Everything's all rounded out. How did I do that? Well, I went to the Home tab, Management Tools, and I'm going to go to the Defaults and select the Use Filter. I'm going to type B-A-L-L -L and go to my Drawing Presentation. Let's expand that uh, arrow and hit the General. Now, as a default, it probably comes in, uh, the balloon type is circle, but as a default, it's probably rounded. So I put it at circle, and the gap around the balloon text in the X and in the Y is probably defaulted at um, zero. So what I've done is I've put in the value of a quarter inch, quarter inch all around. So after making those changes, I'm going to load settings, settings in advance. Let's lock that up and then X out. And again, we want to update the defaults. Once you've made that change, you can go on to your labels and dimensions and update the detail. And your changes will kick in. 